ओम शांति वेलकम वी आर विद सेवेंटींथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट को अली पैसेंगे नाउ देर टू काइंड ऑफ किंगडम्स एंड वी कैन बिकम अ सेल्फ सॉवरन दैट मीन्स वी कैन हैव कंट्रोल ओवर आर सेल्फ लाइक अ किंग एंड इधर वी कैन बी इन जॉइंग दिस वर्ल्ड किंगडम ऑफ कल्यू और वी कैन बी इन जॉइंग द स्पिरिचुअल किंगडम ऑफ गॉड सो गॉड हेयर सेज मे यू एक्सपीरियंस योर कॉन्फिडेंस एज सेल्फ सॉवरनिटी बाय हैंडिंग ओवर एवरीथिंग टू द फादर confluence age is an age which is coming in between right in between iron age and the golden age so this is a transformation period where the hellish world or the impure world or the or the body conscious world gets turned into soul consciousness with the power of the supreme creator his guidance his knowledge and the way he makes us practice from being body conscious to being soul conscious so heaven means soul conscious hell on earth means body consciousness so god says may you experience your confluence to his self sovereignty by handing over everything to the father when we think everything is mine or my then god says fine then you take the complete headache of handling those things in kali but if you hand over the things to me that means your responsibilities to me your property your everything you use it for yourself but you use it in such a way that it is used in the right way without any greed without any ego and have a right to an imperishable tilak of the kingdom so nowadays authority is received by donating wealth or from votes so if you are donating wealth then people acknowledge you that means if you donate a lot of wealth and if you amass a lot of votes from people automatically you receive authority in this kali yuga or the iron age world but the father himself has given you children tilak of self sovereignty when he teaches us that you become soul conscious you become detached from the worldly desires and worldly things even if you're living in the world but you don't have any kind of expectations from the world then that is known as self sovereignty being a carefree emperor is such a good stage and that is only possible when we are carefree now if we are too concerned about things around us people around us then we are not carefree we are trying to control things we are trying to control situations we are trying to control people automatically in such a case we don't become a carefree emperor when you have handed over everything to the father who would then be concerned obviously the father but if you keep the authority to somebody to take control of things and then again you come and check why isn't it happening why didn't he do it and you again come back and you take it over and you take it you try to you try to take the control of things around you automatically you try to control people control situations you try to control the outcome forcefully then automatically god says then you cannot be a carefree emperor because you're not giving it to me actually however let it not be that you have kept a little of your authority or your own dictates it in a way somewhere that means we say god this is yours you get it done and then when something doesn't go your way you're like this thing shouldn't have happened that thing shouldn't have happened god you're not helping me out or these people where have they come from why are they disturbing me and god says well don't you know that the final outcome will be in your favor if you just let it go So God says, even if the world, that means the satanic world, tries to use too many methods, you'll still succeed because in the end, there'll be victory of the truth, no matter what. If you follow Shri Mat, you have handed everything to the Father. If you follow Shri Mat, you have handed everything to the Father. That means if you're following, let's say, situation occurs, and if you're not using any kind of jealousy, hatred, or greed. or anger then you have handed that situation to the father but if you're using all the negatives which we just spoken about then you're not handed over to the father you're taking it on to yourself that's why you're getting heavier in your mind that's why you're becoming angry you're getting greedy you're getting jealous or you're having hatred in your life because you're thinking some of that that is yours and somebody's trying to take it away from you such children who hand over everything to the father with their hearts are double light and they claim a right to an imperishable tilak of sovereignty such children who hand over everything to the father with their hearts that's important are double light that means they're lighter in the mind 
and they're light enough in their thoughts, words, actions, and that's where they're able to connect to the Creator. Because lighter things, they go higher, right? And they claim a right to an imperishable tilak of sovereignty. That means they are in control of their mind and intellect and words and actions. That means they're self-sovereign. That means they are able to govern their mind and intellect and habits. That is known as somebody who's in control of themselves. And that is what we learn in Brahma Kumari is you're most welcome to learn the same art. Om Shanti this.